morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to Rob and Lynn on Talk. I'm filming this on my phone because somebody's I'm filming this on my phone because... Robert forgot the camera. I mean, we weren't really going to film what we're doing today, but we are going out to get Robert a new toy. No, to get us a new toy. We're going to we're going to Curry's to <laughs> buy a new camera for our vlog. Yeah, we're going to try out the GoPro 11. The stability, as much as we love the Sony ZV-1 that we use all the time, the stability on it is horrendous, as you probably noticed. I wouldn't say it's horrendous. Well, I think it is. I mean, we never have any comments to say shaky or anything, but it's we, try, we try and improve our channel and the quality of yeah. our vlogs. And I'm using my phone now, and it's probably going to be shaky on here, so I might not actually use this footage. But yeah, yeah, because we, we're only amateurs at the end of the day, you know, we're not professional, so we're just going to try it out. Yeah. And that's about our plans for today and we're going away tomorrow off to leicestershire tomorrow so Bible. we're back and we've bought it absolutely loving it we've tried it out for the last few hours uh, we haven't recorded anything yet that you'll see but from after this video we will be using it it is the gopro hero 11 black creator edition so it comes with the light, the camera and the dead cat that goes on it and the handle. And so far it's brilliant. I'm sure you'll all notice a difference with the stability. It's just brilliant. Happy yeah, with that. It's a bit of a game changer for us. I think so. I think so because mm. you're... And also for any YouTubers watching this to get the video content off it is just simple it just you just bluetooth it over amazing bloody expensive mind you but it'll make a difference to us people so we are happy with that we are so let's crack on to our next adventure well we're in the motorhome people we are and using the gopro oh, don't oh. get excited i am because it's so much easier to get all the the video off yes i think you said that before i while. know i did but oh, yeah bloody hell it's, it's gonna make my life easier are you happy yeah. Happy to be your husband in the bus. Yeah, great. <laughs> so we're going to get a few supplies and then we'll head off to Leicestershire, people. Yes. You can't whack it. Have you got to get diesel first? <sighs> Bloody hell. It's always a down on it, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, we're 500 quid for diesel. And then go and stuck up on the whiskey. Happy with that? Happy. £88 worth of diesel, I've just put in here. And it was only just under half a tank. But, but hang on, isn't that hang the first on. time you put any in two rant? weekends? Do you want me rant? I'll put that back down then. Yeah, to be honest, because we've uh, stopped local. That's the first time I've put some in for two weeks. Yeah. Local? Blackpool isn't exactly local. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've tried, all right, we've tried to stay local for the past few weeks. We're Except not... for last week, because it was Blackpool. Yeah, we're not going too far, are we, this weekend? No. Only Leicestershire. Come on then, let's go spend some more money in Tesco. Happy with that. I'm not. I need whiskey. You'd need whiskey if you lived with him. You'd need something. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Well, we're travelling down, no, up the M6, and for once we haven't got stuck in traffic. Yes, we have. Oh, not been stuck in it for ages. No, not really. Late. Sleep or no. doing your nails? That was on the M5, it was just a bit of roadworks. Um, so we're heading up to Leicestershire to our friend's livery yard uh, and we're going to be staying on her drive for a couple of nights so really looking forward to that. Another free park up people. Yes and while I'm on the, got the camera out, um, Debbie Pierce has messaged and said hi Robin Lynn please please could you say a very happy birthday on the 13th of November to my wonderful hobby Graham who will be 43. We look but watching you both and you make his day. Lots of love, Debbie. So, yeah, happy birthday to... Happy birthday Graham. to Graham. Happy birthday dear Graham. Happy birthday to Graham. Rob, Rob, on tour. I don't know why I actually left it running. I could have actually turned the camera off, but no, while he was singing. Happy with that, people? Happy. Happy, happy with that. So, here we are at our friend's Beautiful little bungalow. There's my little angel there, and we're parked smack outside their steps. 
and just up there, the livery yard full of horses. We'll explore, explore a bit more tomorrow, but the drive was a bit uh, hairy, wasn't it? I didn't think we were in the right place for quite some time. About three or four miles on a single track road. Yeah, luckily nothing was coming the other way, but I thought we'd actually took the wrong turning, but no, we, we've got here. Happy with us, happy. Nice drinking time, isn't it? Definitely. Good morning, everybody. It is now Saturday morning at the livery yard. Yes, absolutely awesome place. I had a walk around the stables last night. Um, there was nobody there, and it was just absolutely awesome. And one You're thing. You are looking very pretty today. Shut up, Robert. One thing I found out yesterday, which I think is unbelievable. 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 The famous desert orchid was actually born at these stables. Okay. In the barn where we will take you later. Yeah, Desert Orchid was born here. Okay. And I was How doing, cool is that? doing some research last night and the person, Jane Burridge, I think it was, bought her for a hundred pound yeah. back in the day. But yeah, she was born here. Yeah. Amazing. I love horses, so yeah. Amazing. <laughs> And we had a fantastic last night. Uh, fantastic last night. Fantastic night. Blah, blah, blah. Fantastic night. night last night, because uh, Phil in his bungalow here has got a pool table. Full size pool table. And who was a champion? Yeah, we played them. Hang on, who was a champion? And then we played Stephen Susie, the Meandering Manx. Yes, yeah, so they're here too. They're just parked just up there. Yeah, and unfortunately, Robert won. He was the out overall winner. Quite happy with that, people. It's all right, we'll have a rematch tonight. And the more he had to drink, the better he played. <laughs> Work that one out. Yeah, it was a cracking night, so a massive thank you to George and Phil. They yes, cooked us a lovely meal. Yeah, brilliant. And then, at the moment, they are cooking our breakfast for everyone. Yes. So, yeah. Hope they bring it over. And we're going to go out. <laughs> now we've got to go in. Yeah. We've, we're going to go out in a bit, uh, have a walk around, go out on the scooters. There's a lovely little village yeah. down there somewhere. Yeah. We are going to go and find it and we will take you with us. Yeah, because uh, it is very remote out here. but Very. And I took the dogs out this morning and walk up uh, on the car park. They got a bit of a car park at the back and there was uh, like kites. You know the birds, the birds of prey, like flapping about on the field. Amazing to see. I enjoy that. I've just got to be careful for Mavis because she's kite sized food. They could take her off. Actually, they could no. take you off. They wouldn't get me big butt off the ground. That's true, they need a bit of pterodactyl to do that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> right, so we're going to have breakfast and we will see you all. Well, we'll take you with us. Not for breakfast. Let's crack on then. What a cracking place to live in. It, it is absolutely amazing. Very, Stunning. Very beautiful. lucky couple. Yes. I would say. Well, they work bloody hard for it, so. Yeah. I mean, look. Perfect. And I've also got chickens. I did hear the cockerel chickens. this morning. Did you? Did he wake you up? No, I was I was awake. Oh, okay. But if you notice, they've had to remesh everything because at the moment, because of the bird flu epidemic, again yes. another one, they're having that no birds can be like be able to get out. No. Yeah. So they've had to obviously mesh it all. it all. To keep the little buggers in. Yeah. Lovely place. Right. Come on. Brecky's calling. Happy with that. And this is little Rosie, Phil and George's granddaughter. Isn't she cute? <laughs> you going riding, are you? Yeah. Right. Say happy holidays then. Happy holidays. Hooray. So we're out on the lovely on our scooters. And look what we found. How cute. Can I have one? I want a little one. Yeah, man. They're right up by the fence just. Perfect. Some stakes off one of them. So we've just come across this beautiful tiny church that was built in the 13th century. So it's the John, St John the Baptist Church in Godby. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look inside my little fruit cake. Try the light while we're talking now, yeah. just to let people see that there's a, because there's a light on it. If you come towards me, does that? Because it is rather dim in here. Um, yeah, absolutely. So they did a restoration of it in 2008. 
Yeah. Yes, I like this place. Let's well, I mean, look at the old beams. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's get in there, my little angel. Let's have a look. You do look very nice from the back. Lynn's <laughs> getting romantic. No, no. There's a kitchen. Is there a kitchen? There's a kitchen area. Oh, yeah, well, look at that. And the big guy over there, Phil, he actually got married here to Georgina. 29 years ago. 29 years ago. And it's still haunting to this day. <laughs> yes, very nice. Yes, I'm glad I come here. Steve, what are you doing? Marrying your boat. <laughs> you didn't get romantic? No. Oh, okay. You got the seven hour flippers. <laughs> Check out, out how old the gravestones are. Yes, they do interest me, uh, graveyards and churches. Do so, my little hands. They are fascinating. Oh, we were just saying, because the two over there, uh, yes. 1879, but these here, you can't even read anything on them, so they are so old. They're really old. Beautiful. Yeah. And can I, can I just say, how pretty you look today. Oh, shut up, Robert. Oh, yeah, mega good, mega. Well, we're back out after our ride. And we are it now... It was a short ride, though. Well, I could have stopped out all day. six miles. That's pretty good. So we're now going to get in the cars and go out... I don't know where. We're it's not getting in no tow car. Mm, shut up, Robert. OK. Where are we going? I don't know. Hallerton. Hallerton. Where's who's? Hallerton. Just piped up in the background, look, trying to get on film, which is succeeded. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> so we have come a drive out. Our friends have brought us out to Foxton Locks. Yes, apparently there's ten locks going up. How's it go? Up. <laughs> so we're going to have a look, see what's what. Yes. Happy with that? And I've just come over a little bridge, and there's a pub. I'm just hoping and praying it's shut, so I haven't got to buy a drink. It's very pretty out here. Mind you, to be honest, it looks a good pub, because it's quite busy. There's loads of folks sitting outside down there. Yeah. Apparently, uh, used to have a, a boat lift back in the day. <sighs> Apparently. What? The pub's full, we can't get in, so unfortunately, I can't buy you a drink. And you tell Fibs? No, it's full, I've just uh, been in. No, you haven't. Seriously? I don't care. I'll sit outside. Bloody hell. Bloody expensive game this is, you know. I'm happy with that. So, apparently, in 1894, Foxton Locks was on the junction of two canals, each run by a different company. It was therefore an important location to, for collection of tolls as boats crossed from one company's canal to the other. Really interesting, my little fruit game, my I little pineapple, my little crab apple. And standing here in 1894, you would have been surrounded by very different sights, sights and sounds. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Very really interesting, my little angel. Yes. So it's a very pleasant day, very beautiful day to walk well, I can't by look the at, locks. I can't look at the camera because the sun is beating straight on my eyes. Yeah, oh, that's very pretty. Yes. Yes, down there you've got uh, a few shops, beautiful little house. Mm -hmm. looks, looks, looks expensive though, people. There you go. Yes, well worth a visit again, I think. And for some reason, Robert's taking pictures of Susie and Steve. Smile! Cheers! <laughs> Sausages. Have a look at Yeah, I was just wondering, because there's ten locks, how long would it take to get one boat all the way up to the top? Well, it won't be as quick as a scooter, would it? 
Definitely not. It's got to take a couple of hours. Got to, isn't it? I mean, you know, you've got... How many locks is it? Ten. T ten locks? Yeah. To get all the way up there. It must be a bloody all day job, surely. But this this bit on the left-hand side there. Yeah, that bit there. The boat pound, so you can cross. So if one's coming up, you can wait there for one to come down. Interesting fact from Lynn. <laughs> and you've also got a canal museum. Uh, come inside and discover the incredible history of Foxton Locks and Foxton Boat Lift. There you go. Perfect. Isn't that lovely to see on each of these railings? There's the hand-knitted poppies. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice touch, isn't it? It is. Rosie, why do you keep following me? I'm just following the railing. Oh, okay. 45 minutes to do the locks. Is that all? Yeah. That surprised me that has. I thought so. it'd be more like four hours. Yeah. What if it were you? What yeah. did you say, Susie? <laughs> what if it was you? Unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it, Steve? It is. Yes, yeah, so we've reached the top. Yeah, we made it, all ten locks. Beautiful. And what a beautiful day. 12th, 12th of November. And it's like a... It's like a summer's day. Spring day. Spring day, autumn day. Shut up, me. Yeah, it's well worth a visit. It's another place worth a visit. And it's free. No, it's not. It's £3.50 to park your car. What? £3.50 to park your car. Was it? Yes. We haven't got a car? But they have. I think we've had to come in two cars, so it's £7. That's yeah. ex that is expensive. Blood is expensive. I don't, I don't think they should charge you for it. Mind you, the upkeep of the locks must be, you know, it all goes to that. Doesn't I suppose so. Yeah. Perfect. And every now and again round the locks, up and down the locks, you've got seating areas, which is brilliant. Uh-oh. What are you doing, little angel? I found myself a new man. I'm better looking than him. He's got a bit of few cobwebs on him. I was going to say something then, but I won't. <laughs> no, don't. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. Really is. And he's got two pee in his cup. Has he? He has. I haven't looked if there's any pains in there. Nah. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously you've got the narrow boats parked, moored every every uh, now and again. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad to come here. Love it. <laughs> so we walk from Foxton Bottom Lock to Foxton Top Lock. Happy with that. Don't, no. get, don't get walking backwards. Why? Because the canal's right behind you and you don't do very well with canals, do you? Not really. I always end up in them for some reason. And then over there, you can have coffee, ice cream, or whatever you want, I presume. Okay. Can I cross it? Are you okay on that? I don't know. Can I cross it? Yeah. yeah. Go on, you can do it. Get your little legs up. See, Go this, on. Is, this is a proper way. Oh, I don't know. Like you can do this. <laughs> and these stables here, the Canal Stable Discovery Room. From 1814, these stables were a regular stop off point for working horses after a long, tiring day towing the heavy boats. Happy with it? Yes. There you go. Yeah, and on here it explains about George Duran, who was the lock keeper here from 1929 to 1947. Happy with Yeah, it's good. It's a very good place to come. It really is. Yeah, so basically if you're into locks people, you like water. It's and narrowboats. It's a very pretty place to walk anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when you've got a day like this. Yeah. Well, we've always said that, haven't we? The, yeah. the weather makes a hell of a difference, you know. It really does. I mean, we wouldn't be here if it was raining, would we? We'd be in the muck town. Yes, snug as a bug in a rock, sitting together, and looking at each other in the eyes. And later on, when we get back, I'm going to take you through the stables at night. It's just beautiful. You haven't got to come. No, because what puts me off about these stables, because I've got a phobia about rats I have. There's got to be rats about in there. You're just a big girl, aren't you? Yeah. He's actually buying me an ice cream. I mean, this has to be filmed because it's absolutely unbelievable. No, just from a razor for me, And what do you want then? Chocolate. I'm here again, people. No wonder I'm skinned. Chocolate one? Chocolate one? Yeah. £7.60. Bloody hell. I got one too. 
Yes, but you should have shared mine. No. Unbelievable, it is. I'm here again, Alma. Yeah, you are. Bottle of gin for you. Coke for me. With a 50 quid gun. Unbelievable. So, we're here now in Phil and George's, and it's the Manx versus Robin Lynn on tour. This is the table and Robert Spots. And he hasn't lost a game yet in two nights. Happy with that, people? Happy! Actually, I think he lost the first one against Phil yesterday. Yes, but I was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but... <laughs> oh, no, he took calm down. But I was warming up, people. But now I've got my eye in. These lost no chance. What have you got to say about that, Steve? He's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting sponges down the holes. Top left. Oh, but it looks like you're gonna win. Yeah, Steve's obviously used to playing uh, tennis. <laughs> yeah, top, like, top, the back. top left, and no, I'm not gonna put the white in because it's just gonna bounce back off. So what are you? Yes, doing? I've done it again, people. We have won again. Steven. It's going to be a bad one. <laughs> 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 so, like I said earlier, I'm going to walk around and just walk through the stables and it's absolutely wonderful at night. They're all waiting for their, their evening meal. I think you've been rolling around in the shavings a bit. But it is, it's, uh, it's like a film set, you walk, walk through. And yes, this was the very barn that Desert Orchid was born in. Don't know which one, but somewhere around here. And he's definitely one of my favourites, this is Ben. Absolutely love him. So yeah, they're gonna have the tea and then they'll go to bed. <gasps> Right, everybody, uh, Lynn's just gone to start the dog's a little walk. So while she's out the way, I just thought I'd give this a mention. It's a little Wuben torch. Is it, have I pronounced that wrong? Wuben, yeah. Uh, I sent us this, you know, just to, so, I, so I thought I'd mention it. Because it's a cracking little torch. It's, uh, let me have a look. It's a Wuben Knight X0. It's... Uh, it's an angled light, it comes with uh, 18,350 lithium battery, the internal waterproof type C charging port, it allows you to freely adjust brightness and levels. I'll get it out and have a look. I mean look how tiny that is. It's, uh, it's got a port there, a rechargeable port there. It's uh, completely waterproof apparently and it's also got a magnetic bottom which will come in handy, especially if you're under the bonnet checking the oil at night or something, you know, your oil level comes up low, whatever, you just, yeah, perfect. On high, this little thing has got 250 lumens. On medium, it's got 150 lumens. And on low, it's got 50 lumens. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But what, anyway, I'm not very technical, as you can see. <laughs> but what I found it very useful for, because it's that small, I mean, obviously, you can carry it around in your pocket. You never know when you might need a torch. But on our Staffy, because she's black and, and, you know, we're out in the middle of nowhere a lot, I'll just clip this, because it's got a clip on it there. Clip it to a collar, turn it on, and you can see where the dog is. I think that's brilliant. Yep. Well, it's a very good... Uh, it's, it's an amazing little piece of kit. It is. It's, it's so small, that, and, but so powerful. Yeah, and it's substantial, if you know what I mean. It's pretty solid, it is. So, yeah, happy with that. I thought I'd give it a mention, because you never know when you might need a torch. Happy with that. Happy. Let's crack on, then, because breakfast is nearly ready. Well, people, we're back in the van now, ready to go out for lunch with our yes. friends George and Phil and Steve and Susie. Yeah. Um... I'm not looking forward to the bill, but that's the way it is. It's Sunday lunch. You're looking really pretty. I've just had my yearly bath. <laughs> yeah, George has very kindly oh. said Link could uh, have a bath because yeah. she stinks. Uh, I I absolutely love a bath, and as I've said before, we haven't got one anywhere, so 
Yeah, I've just had a lovely, lovely hot bath at George's and Phil's. Oh, right, bloody hell. So, what do you think of the torch? Yes, pretty good. It is, it is very good. Mm. Um, we've been, we're trialling it out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am impressed. It's a, a great little one. And it's great for the dog. A uh, torch. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll put the description in the link below if you want to go and check it out. Yeah. Uh, right, next we need to rate the site that we've yes. been on for the weekend. This is Robin Lynn on tours rating of the site. It's a nice site really. Yeah, well, out of out of 10, I'm going to give it a 12. I'll give it a 12 and a half. Yeah. And I, I would have given it a 13, only they only give you half of cups of tea. I don't know why they can't fill it up. We've sure. had breakfast for the last two days. I haven't mm. cooked once. I haven't got any washing up to do. Yeah, And, it's you know, on a serious note, it's in a, a beautiful part of, the, of our country and it's uh, pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. But and they have been amazing hosts. They have, so thank you so much. Yeah, but thank you so unfortunately, much. to all of you lot, you can't come. Unfortunately. <laughs> I've told them to open it. Well, we've both said for a long while they need they to... They should open a CL. Yeah, just a little CL. And it'd yeah. be a great escape for a few days, you know. They've got 26 acres, so it could be done. Yeah. But we'll keep nagging on at them, and hopefully one day they will do it. Yes. So, yeah, that's about it for this one, isn't it? Yeah, off to Somerset next week, people. Yeah, looking forward to that. Meeting up with a load of our friends, so it should be a messy weekend. Going for about four days. Yeah. Maybe five. Could turn into six. I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy this vlog. Thanks again to George and Phil for your hospitality. It's yeah, been yeah, brilliant. Yeah, you've, you've been amazing. Yeah, very, very nice people. Lovely yeah, so stay safe for the caravanners, motorhomers, tenters, drifters, subscribers, all of you. So, all of you, we do thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one in a bit.